In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to use the Poodle Passage Reader to read aloud text for your students that you have typed into eClass. First, navigate to your course and turn Editing on. You can use this anywhere you have available text with some limitations. So you can create this in a new resource or you can edit and add it into an existing one. For this, I will add it into a page resource I already have text added to and scroll down to where I have some text. We suggest not including the headers or the formatting for the headers as sometimes it can give an issue with the screen reader or passage reader. Click at the first beginning of your text, select enter and click above it. Click the widget icon and select passage reader. These are the defaults that are set through the tool with the addition of our mount blue color. The button that the students will click or you will click is 50 pixels high and wide, mount blue, white symbol. The system has a default for male but you may choose a female speaker. Which language you may wish to have the information read in. We suggest leaving it on sentence mode. You may change stop or pause by selecting pause you may also type pause here instead of stop to have a different icon appear for that option. Last, click insert. This information here now includes these two lines encapsulated by curly brackets. I will select them by clicking and dragging with my mouse and cut on the second line. I will then go to the bottom of where I want the passage to end reading, click, so I have the cursor blinking, right click and paste. This means that anything between these lines will be read. Please note that this is best used when it's a paragraph and has proper punctuation and ends with a period. There is known issues when using them with the titles of your paragraph or section so please keep that in mind when using this. Save and display to test this. Once available, you can click the button and listen as your passage is being read. In this module, we will meet our first female Dominican saint, Catherine Benincasa born in Siena, Italy in the Middle Ages. It was a time in history when women were not able to walk alone. To stop it, you would click stop in the play, it, it was continue. a time in his playing will continue it. You can add this to all text available within proper reasoning and regarding extra formatting as the formatting can throw in off the tool. In this module, we will meet our first clicking on the sentences will also read Even them. Even as a young child, she reported having vision. Thank you for watching.